Hi, I'm Lindsay Pollack, a global spokesperson for LinkedIn, and I run my own business as a career and workplace consultant. On a recent episode of Get Connected, we were introduced to Tina Wells, the CEO of Buzz Marketing Group, who's a terrific example of turning your passion into profits. I remember writing a report for a client and the client said, hey, I want to tell you something. I just paid someone $25,000 for something similar to what you did and yours is 10 times better. You have a business, go figure it out. Today we're going to talk about how a passion of yours could turn into a profitable business or a profitable career. What tools and resources you use to identify a strong and sparkly niche? What advice do you have for discovering it? When you think about your passions, think about what did you do as a child? What did you choose to do in your extracurricular activities in college? For instance, maybe you've always loved writing, but you never considered all of the careers that you could pursue like journalism, technical writing, or public relations. Maybe you're an artist and hadn't actually considered graphic design or animation as a career choice. You just need to do the research and exploration to find which jobs or businesses relate to the interests that you have. If you're passionate about what you're doing, but it's not going to bring you a lot of money, should you still do it? Well, first and foremost, when it comes to money, you have to think about what your bottom line is. How much do you need to live and pay your bills and pay off any debt that you have? That said, don't put too much pressure on yourself to turn your passion into a profitable business on day one. There are many other ways to add to your income like freelancing, consulting, working part time. Maybe those are ways to supplement your income while you're building your passion project and eventually that passion project could turn into your main source of income. Alicia asks, my biggest challenge right now is staying on track, not giving up on myself and my vision. I have the passion and belief, but doing it all by myself is at times overwhelming. My answer is to figure out what it takes for you to keep going. For some people, that's a mastermind group, meeting with three or four other business owners once a week and having a team of people to talk to. For some people, it's only working part time. Whatever you need to do to keep yourself going and keep yourself happy and motivated at the same time. Here's a question from Sharon Williams. She asks, once you've found your passion and started to pursue it, how do you go about promoting and marketing yourself? When you're running a business or career based on your passions, promoting that passion is incredibly important. So here are three tips for promoting yourself along with your passions. Number one, ask your clients, ask your friends what you do well and use their language to describe what you do. Number two, it can be easier to promote your expertise rather than yourself. So continue to build your credibility by blogging, tweeting, speaking on panels about topics or products that you're passionate and knowledgeable about. And number three, build your confidence by attending networking events. The more you talk about it, the more you tell people about your passions, your genuine enthusiasm will come through and that's what helps you build your brand and your business.